Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a continuation of last week's video. So last week I showed you how I sculpted this white tiger's head. And this video is going to be how I constructed everything and all of the little details that I've done. So if you haven't seen the sculpting video, this is what is a little sample of what's in it. So head over, I'll try and remember to link it below, but I never do, but it is on my channel as the second last video that I just did. Um, and I go through the whole process of how I sculpted bits and pieces and what materials I used for this tiger head. So as this tiger has a movable jaw, it was a lot more work than the orange tiger that I did make and a little bit, a little bit more detailing and painting that I needed to do. So for the tongue, I used Sculpey, uh, Super Sculpey and that is the sort of beige colored uh, transparent tone and I wanted to add a little bit more depth to it. So I painted over a wash of red and sort of dabbed it off a little bit to mute the color down a little bit because it was uh, a little bit too red for my liking. But um, uh, you do definitely need to do a wash if you're doing gum lines when you're using Sculpey, Super Sculpey. Uh, it just sort of gives it a little bit more depth and a little bit more life to it. And for the other areas that I need to paint, so this one again has a little bit more to paint around the mouth area because of that movable jaw. So I'm going in with a brown instead of black this time because the tiger will have a brown colored tone to it as well as the brown stripes. So I'm going ahead and painting around the eyes that brown color. You don't have to be neat if you're putting a faux fur over the top of it like I am, but just be a little bit neater if you're just doing a raw sculpt. Uh, that's why I'm a little bit messy with this one because I'm going to be covering it with the faux fur. So I'm doing that little uh, gum line thing, I guess, that they have with that brown as well. And I'm also going in with a mixture uh, of reds and browns to create the inner part of the mouth. And doing another wash over that nose. Moving on to the feet, I am doing pink little toe beans this time and then adding a little bit more depth to it. So I'm using a pastel pink for it and then I'll add a little bit more color once I have applied the faux fur. For the armature, I'm using a one quarter scale ball and socket armature. I currently have them in my shop if you're interested in ball and socket armatures along with the tools. So they're almost impossible to work with without the tools. Uh, I got a lot of questions about the tools and um, you definitely need them to pop them on and off. So once I've done the armature, I'll have more of that footage over on my Patreon if you're interested in armatures and felting for this tiger doll, uh, as well as the ear making. I will have them over on my Patreon very soon. But with the, the pipe cleaners, that me, that's me just preparing the armature for the felt because the armature is plastic, it's quite slippery. So just putting over a pipe cleaner makes the polyfill easier to stick to. So it has something to cling to and then I can continue on with that needle felting. Once I have done the needle felting and it's an eternal process to do the needle felting, I always have reference images of the muscle tones of the animals that I'm doing so I can make sure everything is correct. So I sort of make a skin, so to say, with the faux fur to drape over the top of the felted body. And I find this process works a lot better than my older process where it's more like a plush, um, where I sew the body up before I put the armature in. Although this is a lot more work, uh, hence the pricing is a little bit different for these ones. I think the character and the details are a lot better than the other ones that I've been doing. So it's a really nice development that I've done in the last few years. It's taken me a long time, but um, yeah, a lot more hand sewing, a lot more fiddling around, uh, a lot more time to complete the process as well. So I'm going, going around sewing all the loose ends up with a ladder stitch and sewing that skin on with a ladder stitch. So I basically do the um, whole of the body first, so the torso, and then I go ahead and do the legs and arms, um, depending on what you're doing, uh, separately and sew them to the torso. So once that's all sewn up, I can glue it down with a tacky fabric glue, let that dry for a little bit, give it a good old trim, and then I can start um, adding all the little faux fur. So because this one has a movable jaw, I wanted to put a piece over that little mechanism that I do for the movable jaws. 
and uh, it sort of combines it into the faux fur a little easier and sort of keeps it in place and nice and covered and uh, then I can start applying the faux fur to the face but for this one because they have movable ears I am currently creating the ears with an armature inside attaching it to the head and then I can start uh, finishing up the doll and doing all the little details so I will have that ear tutorial over my patreon as well if you're interested in learning how I did the ears and attaching them so once that's done and it's nice and dry I can apply that faux fur give it a trim uh, just being careful where the longer bits of fur will be on the tiger's mane um, otherwise you'll have a pretty bald tiger if you trim all that off but if you do you can start again anyway you can pull that faux fur off and start again so once I'm happy with that I can start adding all the little details that were uh, sort of hidden when I applied that faux fur so going in with that same paint as I did at the start and just adding all those little details for the stripes in this particular doll, I did it all by hand. Uh, the orange tiger I did with an airbrush. Uh, it is really labor intensive doing it by hand and I think you get a better um, result from using the airbrush. And um, so I think I'll, little any little stripes or spots and stuff that I do in the future, I'll probably do with an airbrush, but it still turned out really, uh, really great and um, a bit more refined than I than the airbrush, I think. But um, yeah, it just takes a hell of a lot of time to uh, do all those stripes. And as you can see, I got reference images up on my computer to make sure I've got the striping right. Um, and just going on from there. And while you're applying the color to the faux fur, make sure you do comb it out when it is drying, but not too wet. You don't want to spread that color around, especially on white faux fur. So you want to make sure that you're combing your pieces out along the way, and that way it stops it being um, clumpy and crunchy when the paint dries. So a little speed up version of um, me doing the rest of the stripes. You can see just how long it's taken. Uh, just to do the side of the tiger but uh, really happy with the way these turned out I, I loved doing these tigers I think it probably was my favorite dolls that I've made to date both of them very labor intensive though uh, it took such a long time to do both these tigers but um, yeah definitely worth it and I've learned a lot especially with the one with the movable jaw um, so definitely more detailed cats, big cats like this to come. Adding the final little bits of details like the whiskers. I have a whisker tutorial in my shop if you're interested in learning how I do that. And uh, yeah, so this little one has been snapped up by a Patreon, but I do have the orange one available. So head over to my shop, check out the orange one and uh, see if you like her. I have a 10% discount coupon on my Patreon for my $10 and above tiers if you're interested in that. If not, head over to my shop, creaturesinnet.com. You can find her in there and also some other little critters as well. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. I really appreciate it. I have some more videos coming up from this entire process. So keep an eye out for that. Let a coupon code go up today. And uh, yeah, so anyway, let's catch you in the next one. Bye.